Well, now we know the season begins with the Kansas City Chiefs at Arrowhead Stadium hosting the Detroit Lions. I would not have had the Lions on my bingo card a year ago as a potential participant in the opening game of the season, but they cap the 2022 regular season on NBC. They start 2023 on NBC and they've earned it, even though they haven't made it to the playoffs yet. They've got an exciting team, talented players, great offense, compelling, charismatic head coach. And it's Jared Goff versus Patrick Mahomes for the first time since November of 2018 when yeah. they put up over 100 points combined in a 54-51 shootout when Goff was still the quarterback of the Rams. And I was still working for the Los Angeles Rams, and that's where this football comes from behind me. We all got game balls as an organization for that, that game, which was insane. But yeah, you're right. The, the Lions have put themselves in a position to be an interesting team. What I've been talking about, you know, the way the schedule might open this year, I've said to people, look, the Lions are a dark horse candidate to mix animals, uh, to be in this opening game because they're compelling. They finished the season eight and two. They were really good last year and they should be really good this year. So I'm really excited by this. And you know, we always talk about what Andy Reid can do when he's got more than one week to prepare for an opponent. This one's going to be interesting because they don't face the Lions very often at all, right? And, you know, in terms of defense, like you just aren't necessarily sure what you're going to see from a Jameer Gibbs, from a David Montgomery. They got a lot of weapons over there and the unfamiliar opponent aspect of this just makes it that much more compelling. So I love this as a season opener. Sims and I were talking yesterday about how important it is for some teams to get off to a fast start. I think that was our draft yesterday, because if you've got high expectations or if you're going to have a difficult schedule or if you've got a coach on the hot seat there are various reasons to have an easy way to start winning games or if you get some tough games you better suck it up and win some of them and the lions were one of the teams i picked because they've got this this burden of expectation when they've done nothing grand scheme of things to achieve it other than finish strong last year so they come in with that that gleam of special team and I think it becomes even shinier now that they're in that kickoff game and you lose that game and they're going to be, I would say, what, four and a half point underdogs in that game. That's just my throw a dart guess at what the line will be. Yeah, I, right. You're 0-1. You're 0-1. And, uh, but it, you know what? If I'm Dan Campbell, I know what he'll say. We had to go to Arrowhead at some point. We may as well go right mm -hmm. now. We may as well go now. Yeah. We got to go there at some point. Let's go now. Yeah, exactly. And look, if anybody knows how to motivate this team, it's Dan Campbell. I mean, think about the last game that they played in the 2022 regular season. They knew that they were out of it, and they still took it to Green Bay to make sure that, hey, if we're not going to this dance, you're not going either. So I think that Campbell will absolutely have his team up and ready to go for that Thursday night matchup to open the season. And they're not going to want to do anything else but spoil that championship celebration for Kansas City. And I think that's going to make it a really, really, really fun and compelling matchup. The line is already seven. So I guess I'd be oh. inclined if I were to wager to pick the Lions because I said four and a half. So I think it will be closer yeah. than seven. But I do too. And this is just a precursor because tune in tomorrow because Chris Sims and I will give you the winners and the lunars, uh, losers or lunars, depending upon the moon cycle, of all 272 regular season games. We will do that tomorrow. We will do that. And they will all be you right. Sure it's going to be Sims? Uh, I'm just kidding. It is Sims tomorrow. That's why he's not here today. Oh. He traded oh. tomorrow for today because tomorrow we Shows need schedule reaction. And we have, to, we have to do this exercise of picking all – the games because that's what they do on schedule release day we pick winners of games to be played in january okay uh but that's the first game that's Fine. the next game we don't know what 272 is going to be but we know what game number one is it's going to be lions yeah, at the chiefs hi it's mike florio thanks for watching pft on youtube hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from pro football talk